absolutely delighted to have the one and only. How does it feel to be back in Teesside, Mr. Paul Merson? Hi, uh, yeah, very good. Yeah, it's been a long time since I was up here, but always loved it when I was up here, definitely. For you to get to that high level of football that you got, what 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 is it? What does it take? What what? Tell me. Well, well I'm a great believer. I mean, the I think the easiest thing in the world is to get to the top. Because I think you have that desire, like the three here, looking to be the one. So you have that desire to get there, get there, and you get there. The name of the game is how long you can stay there. Because then, all of a sudden, you know, Stephen will tell you, you get there, or Sally's been there, and, and Josh, you get there, and people get lazy. You've seen it a million times with people, and it's being able to stay there. And that's what the greatness is. It's not here. It's when you get to there. Because everybody has a goal. Everybody... I, I have, I've always lived my life on goals. You know, I have to have a goal. If I don't have a goal, I went into treatment. I come out, I wanted to play for England. That was my goal. They said, oh, it's a bit high. But I played. And, but, and then when I got to there, and then it's like, what do I do now? And you have to stay there. And that's, that's the most important thing for me. The easiest thing in the world, get to the top, got to stay there. We see one of the greatest boxers of all time in Mike Tyson get to the top. Who would have thought he was ever going to get beat by Buster Douglas? It's because he got to the top and he got lazy. And that's what it's all about, is getting there and staying there. And I, I think Stephen will agree with that. I think everybody will. I think that's the name of the game, in my opinion. Yeah, well, you've, you've hit upon two letters there of the discipline models. Paul, I'm going to stay with you a second. The, the desire and goals. Desire is the, the letter D. Uh, lasting goals. That were exactly about goal setting. I've got a question, again, about that that self-belief. And, and the next letter, would you believe, is imagination. When people say, I, I, I dream of doing that, how, how far do you take that dreaming to do something? Like, when, when, when did this, I need to be at the top flight, come in? Because we have to probably understand it was probably at an early age. It was at an early age, but I never thought I would. You know, I was very, very you know, what the lady said there, the mum, you know, I was I was like that, I was shy. I couldn't, I, you know, I was very shy. I couldn't, when I was playing football, I get palpitations. I had to come off because I couldn't breathe. I was that nervous. And it, it was hard. It was hard. And then, you know, I don't know. It just, as I got older, it become easier and easier. And when I did get palpitations, I knew when to breathe and how to breathe. And, and it sort of passed by and I knew it wasn't a problem. <laughs> it's, it's hard work. It's hard work. You know, you watch footballers and, you know, in any sport and people go, I can do that. It's hard work. It's hard work. And, you know, the three people up there, fair play, because what they've gone through is hard work. To go from 5,000 to three and then want to be the one it's hard work but when you get to the one it gets harder and that's that's the question is who can do that and keep on working and working instead of going oh i've got my break now and then you become lazy you hear it so many times i've seen it a million times it's having that desire what do you need to do then when it does get hard i think work harder i think work harder and not get put down i mean you know i've i've, I've, I've had major problems with, with my own mental health and it is it's being strong-minded. It's being strong and believing in yourself. You have to believe in yourself. The day you start doubting yourself, that's going to be the problem, you know, and have confidence in yourself. You know, these three people who got up there today, it's amazing. Honestly, I have so much respect for them all. I've, I heard all their stories. I listened to all of them. And, you know, that they've all done unbelievably well. You know, whoever doesn't win, and obviously two people are not going to win, that doesn't mean they're not good. You know, then you've got to go again and, and go again. This is not the end. And, and for me, that, that's what it's all about. You know, I used to say that someone who doesn't win this won't be su as successful as the person who wins it, you know, and that's what it's all about. It's not, you know, I, I got pushed aside many a times playing football. I played for the county once in my whole whole time at school. You know, I was, you know, I didn't get an apprenticeship at Arsenal. I got a youth training scheme because they didn't think I was too small. So, you know, it, was, it wasn't easy and you have to keep on working hard. You know, and, and this is what I'd say to all of them here. Whoever doesn't win it, don't stop there. You know, you haven't become bad at what you're doing. You've just been bang unlucky this time. And then maybe next time you get that bit of luck. It's all about breaks. And when you get that break, you take that advantage and you make it pay. And you don't, you know, and that's what it's all about, in my opinion. Yeah, spot on. Give Paul a massive round of applause. Good luck, everybody.